Yeah, and it it's like you don't. I've never heard a bad thing about you. Well, I mean, I don't know, man. We we, I don't think much has changed about how we really are f- from you know starting this thing forever ago. We were just like two open micers, yeah, who met and just pursued this lunacy that we do, yeah. And uh, you know, we got obviously like some super lucky breaks, and then you just try to keep doing what you do, you know. Yeah, but I mean, you, dude, you are one of the biggest comics in the world, Tom. Um, I don't know. I guess... Uh, so f- I fucking love you even more that you just got humble. So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video talking about Tom Segura having a meltdown in the airport because he had to check in his bag and called the airport employee a C-word. Recently, it seems like Tom has realized that brushing off criticism as just envy from losers and poors isn't the best strategy. Just take a look at any recent podcast he's on. The top comments are usually some jab about his airport meltdown or a poke at the poors. It's pretty clear the backlash has gotten under his skin. Tom's getting that playing the detached rich comic isn't flying well. You can also almost see him rethinking everything. Like on Bobby Kelly's podcast, when asked about his car collection, Tom just froze like a deer in headlights. What, what, what are you going to buy another? What kind of car you have? Which what? What kind? You have cars? Yeah, I How like many cars. cars you got? You all right? Yeah. Uh, uh, ha, ha. You know what I'm telling me? No, I don't, I don't know. You, are you Seinfeld cars? No, 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 no. It seems Tom suddenly understood that flaunting his wealth and punching down on poor people isn't a great move, like he did just a few months ago. Every time we talk about like a watch or a car, <laughs> I'll get a, a, like a, a bunch of messages from losers that <laughs> try to tell me that mm-hmm. I'm, I'm making them feel bad about their situation you're in control of your own situation and your own feelings so don't put it on me that you feel bad that i have something that oh but i i'm struggling with rent this month figure it the fuck out okay like don't make my life be a problem for your life it's not on other people to make sure they don't talk about a topic that makes you feel bad all right like i lost 20 grand gambling this weekend Go ahead. Yeah, it appears Tom is regretting what he said, starting to see the light, at least a little bit. During the podcast, he was laying it on thick with the Humility Act, and oddly enough, Bobby Kelly spent the whole time showering him with compliments. He was going on about what a great guy he is, never hearing a bad thing about him. It felt a bit off, almost like he was laying it on too thick, maybe even being sarcastic, but I don't think he was. And you could almost see Tom second guessing, wondering, is this for real? Or is he messing with me about all the recent drama? The worst one. That's not the worst. I mean, who is that? Yeah. You You were not meant to be good looking until you were old. Maybe. You're like George Clooney. Am I? You're really gassing me up right like now. Like funny and confident and 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 not in a dick way. You know what I mean? It's, oh, thanks, man. You're uh, you you you're very. It's it's um, you know, to me, appealing. The most normal. This is a weird thing about you guys. You guys are the nicest people. Like everybody that does your show. Yeah. Is like they're so they're great. They're yeah. awesome. It's so fun. They're oh, so that's nice. a lot. Yeah, and it it's like you don't th- I've never heard a bad thing about you. Well, I mean, I don't know, man. We we I don't think much has changed about how we really are f- from, you know, starting this thing forever ago. We were just like two open micers yeah, who met and just pursued this lunacy that we do. Yeah. And uh, you know, we got obviously like some super lucky breaks and then you just try to keep doing what you do, you know? Yeah, but I mean, you, dude, you are one of the biggest comics in the world, Tom. Um, I don't know. I guess. Uh, so f- I f- love you even more that you just got humble. Well, I mean, I look. I think it's crazy that uh, some of these opportunities happen. Like, I really do. It's it yeah. does seem. I you know, I called my agent the other day, and I I had this moment where I was like, with with everything you do, you do get used to things after a while. Sure. And I was like, man, I got I to gotta send him a message. And I was like, hey, man, I just hope you know that I'm super used to this by now. But, but I have to tell you, thank you, that these are still amazing offers. You know, like. Right. Because uh, you get. You were grateful. I was. Yeah, I just was like, I, I shouldn't just be like, yeah. Yeah, good. 
<laughs> move on and without acknowledging that like, hey, this isn't normal. Yeah. I guess Bobby missed the whole airport rant where Tom called everybody poors and losers. Somebody tweets, you must be living under a rock, Bobby, or you must not have much consideration for TSA agents and poor people in general. But I can't blame Bobby for missing these tweets because Tom wiped his October tweets clean off the map. Seriously, take a scroll through his Twitter right now. His posts and replies, they leapfrog right from September to November. That infamous two-day airport rant, poof, gone. Along with every October tweet from his profile. Nice cover-up, Tom. And so it's obvious Tom is in damage control mode, and I believe it's all because of a show he's going to be releasing, probably somewhere in 2024. I, um, well, I've always wanted to do that stuff. I actually, I can't make the say the thing, but it'll be announced. I sold a show. You did? Yeah, and it's a, and I got a serious commitment, so we're going to make the show. So you're making a show? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Is it, it's going to be on, of course. One of the things. One of the things you yeah. can't announce, yeah. but we know, because you do one of the things, only one of the things. Mm. Maybe. Mm. You could do another thing? Maybe. Maybe another thing? It could be. Really? Well, maybe. Now, is it about your life? No. It, it's crazy? Is it's it weird? Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy and weird. It's yeah. crazy and weird. Yeah. Is it... Is it crazy and weird? Like, um, I made a pilot on my yeah. own. So I funded the pilot. Right. Shot it and then showed it. And then they were like, we'll make it. Really? Yeah. And, is, and so, so. It cost me a f fortune, but yeah. Yeah, but it's worth but it. But it worked it. it yeah, worked it's out. worth it. Yeah. It's great. That's what you're supposed to use your money for. I think what so too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, do you want more stuff? Or yeah, do you what are you going to buy? Yeah. What, 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 what are you going to buy another? What kind of car you have? Which, what, what kind? You have cars? Yeah. I How like many cars. cars you got? You all right? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm telling me? No, I don't, I don't know. You, are you Seinfeld cars? No, no, no. So Tom said he put up his own cash to make this pilot and sold the show to an unnamed network, right? Well, what we know is that Tom has worked with Netflix in the past with his comedy specials. So I wouldn't be surprised if he sold his new show to Netflix as well. I think he's eyeing the big leagues now, aiming for that sweet Netflix deal or whatever else is out there. And Netflix isn't going to team up with Tom if he keeps going on these rants on Twitter, dropping insults like it's nobody's business and snapping at fans who call him out for his behavior. All that is just playground stuff when you're playing for Netflix level stakes. And I believe this is the reason why Tom is putting on this whole I'm just a regular guy act. The way he beats around the bush about this new show, it's like he's super careful about how he comes across, especially with all the drama he's been in lately. He's playing this clueless humble dude who just got lucky, but let's be real, it kind of feels fake. Like he's trying super hard to make people forget his past outbursts. It's a big change from the Tom who didn't seem to care about anyone's feelings and now he's all humble, probably because he's in panic mode, trying to fix his image and get back in everyone's good graces. Seems like he's suddenly realized flaunting his cars and Rolexes might not look so good and is trying to come off as more down to earth. So also in the podcast, Tom is going on about how he's big on tipping and hands out hefty bonuses to his employees. And it feels like he's trying to respond to what Steve-O said in a recent YMH podcast. Steve-O pretty much called out Tom that he's not exactly the best boss when it comes to paychecks. I'm guessing I'm guessing there's probably not that much money left over for the guys in the booth either. Oh, it's man. all Tom and Christina just running around. <laughs> getting on private jets. Uh -huh, making fun of poor people. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. All right. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everybody's out here. And so here we have Tom responding, and it's tough to say for sure if he's being genuine here, especially with his new show coming out and him being in damage control mode. I really hope he gives back to us pores, even though he hates us. Uh, would you give the guy money? Yeah, dude. You would? Absolutely. How much would you give? But I have to, I carry, you know, I have like Catholic guilt. I mean, like yeah. I... I, I bonus well. I tip well. I feel like somebody who, if he this guy like founded this with me, it would it would eat me up if I had. And I thought this last bit was interesting as it showcases how Tom looked when he just started out when he was still fat and funny. Great. Do you have another one? Hampton Roads. Tom. I mean, you just type in. Look, let me help you out. Yeah. Just type in <laughs> Tom Segura, fat. <laughs> 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 and then hit image results. 
Oh my, you look like a, a club owner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look how pretty she is. Yeah, she looks really good. I mean, she looks fantastic. Yeah. What? No, get another I one. They're like, oh, I love that they bring up one. Go to Google. They just. Oh, there, 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 far left. That one. Who's that? That's me. That's not you. That's me. That's not you. Two thousand nine. What were you doing? Were you working at a candy factory? <laughs> <laughs> what the I know. fuck, dude? I know. Wow. Yeah. I mean, someone wrote just a friendly reminder of where you came from, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no money, you tip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, Tom. Yeah. I mean, you, if you were that guy right now. All right, take it down, man. So it seems like Tom's laughing at that Reddit post might mean he's starting to change a bit. I guess this new secret project gave him a new perspective where he has to kiss up to the public again. I really hope he doesn't go the route of Brendan Schaub, who basically attracts a lot of hate from his audience who turned on him. To Tom's credit, he seems to realize that playing this mean rich guy backfired and is now trying to change.